Okay, welcome. Today is Wednesday, May 24th. My name is Amy Kernicki. I am a regenerative health practitioner and I'm going to be hosting today. I'd love to for you all to start with wins. Um, how's everyone doing? Would anyone like to come off mute and share what you're celebrating today? Anyone? I can shout myself out. Um, about four weeks ago, I broke my fibula and sprained my ankle in a snowboarding thing. <laughs> and um, four weeks out, and I'm I'm doing really, really well. I'm using the tools I have, I'm eating lots of fruit, um, staying mostly alkaline, I'm using more amino acids. Uh, I've bumped up my cherry juice when I'm in pain to be able to sleep better. Um, doing all these things to like really boost my immunity and my healing process. And I mean, this is what we do right here is regenerate, right? So it's pretty. Um, interesting to be my own patient and uh, be trying to heal as fast as possible. Anyone else? Shannon, where are you in your journey? I, um, okay, so, so this is going to be a shout out to myself, but just give me a second. So I kind of fell, you know, to the toxicity around me and like that, um, so many things, like I've been asking for lots of stuff in my life to to be a higher vibration and be more, you know, loving and caring and nurturing basically. And so all those things have been coming to me so, so freely. And that's amazing. But unfortunately, sometimes and I'm, it's not unfortunate, but it feels unfortunate that some things fall off. So some people, you know, leave your life or things that aren't serving you when you ask for those things that ask and it is given we have to remember you know to look at the whole picture because sometimes you're going to have you don't have space for everything right so some of those things move away and you know i'm a human being and i live in this life and it's so much easy to fall prey to oh no it's the end of the world and you know maybe have some fear come in or fall off of you know, the, the good wagon, maybe you might say. And so, you know, had a little bit of that. Um, but, you know, being able to see it and know, like, who I really am, and that this is not what I want to be, and being able to see the platform that I ha actually have it here, to, you know, just jump right back in, because it and but it's just, it's like a different person, you know, and like, I don't, that's not the person that I am is not those toxic things and the that maybe the things that it might put in my body because I'm at a graduation party and everybody's eating cookies or whatever it might be so and it's just you know becomes psychologically difficult sometimes to not just go ahead and eat that cake or whatever or or, or fall into um talking about someone you know just all the different type of toxic things so just knowing being able to see that because of this community um, and, the, and the high vibrational foods that I have at my fingertips to be able to get back right back on my journey to being the person that I really am and the human that I am inside that I share this symbiotic relationship with other organisms in my body that we can use them together to be a high vibrational source of love and, and, and share that with everything that's around me and have that surrounding me and it's okay if some of those things that aren't that doesn't mean I don't love people any differently it's just doesn't mean I have to have them in my space constantly all the time and and that's okay and it's okay that you know that maybe I did go there for a minute but I'm not going to beat myself up so that's why this is like even though I'm saying hey I fell off a little bit I'm not going to beat myself up for it because I'm getting right back into the groove of doing those things so Mm, thank you so much for sharing, Shannon. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. I love that you're finding the balance, and you know, you can celebrate the wins, and we don't we don't have to be perfect. <laughs> no, but yeah, it, our detoxification path, like, 
it definitely it, it's all about um looking at the toxins in our environment right so they 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 can be anywhere they can be the emotions and people and stuff yeah and it is pretty cool to see when we do like let those things go and release that we make room for the good to come in that always happens like when the then shifts yeah that's awesome thank you so much shannon i have a similar experience um it's interesting you know how everything is all connected i mean that's that's everybody knows that um I'm, well everybody on this zoom i'm presuming but it's interesting how the toxic thoughts and the toxic relationships and the toxic food um you know creates this this whole sort of lifestyle change in in a bad way um before moving to florida and for many years before moving to florida i was extremely um health conscious uh very conscious about what i put into my body who i let into my life <clears throat> Um, you know, did meditation and stuff. So I was very conscious of my thoughts. And um, bit by bit, when I moved to Florida two years ago, I just started letting that all fall by the wayside. <clears throat> and I've only been doing the ULT for about 20 days. And I noticed how much I am waking back up to who I used to be, the healthy person I used to be. The crappy foods are no longer having that same siren song for me. And, and by crappy foods, I mean, um, I don't, I still, even though I, I have fallen far away from how I used to eat, I still don't eat probably what the typical American eats. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not all that, you know, horrified yeah, by- I'm sorry, my, <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that. My vacuum cleaner, my robot vacuum cleaner is having a problem over here. <laughs> so I apologize if you can hear that. Um, but anyway, I, I feel like I'm waking back up to who I was and, and the, the foods that I had been eating, you know, the processed foods or, you know, whatever, they're not calling to me like they used to. And, you know, I have a garden in my yard and I can grow a lot of my own food. And, you know, my, my mentor is on this call. And so all of the um, sort of, you know, more exotic things that she talks to me about, I'm like, oh yeah, I know that, you know, I've, I've got that in my pantry, as a matter of fact, it's like, well, let's pull that out and um, get rid of the other crap that's in the pantry. So it's, it's been wonderful. That's beautiful. Thank you for your honesty and sharing. And I'm sure we can all relate to just kind of trying to fit into a new situation and and losing ourselves a little in relationships and stuff like that. And it happens, absolutely. Can you drop a one if you guys can relate to Cheryl's story and Shannon's story? Uh, does anyone else want to share a win? How's everyone's journey going? Deb, thank you so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I can share. Thank you. I. I'm just feeling really um, proud of how far I've come in the past two and a half years. And I feel like a lot of places that I go in Sedona, especially um, as of lately, like one of the comments, my number one things people notice are, are like, wow, you just seem so like vibrant and bright. And um, that just means a lot. Like it's really one of the best compliments someone could give me. Um, and it's just testament to like, I look healthier on the outside and people are noticing. Um, and it just, it feels really good to wake up with energy and then also to like feel good in my body, but also have people notice that and, and like be asking, what are you doing? <laughs> That's helping and like working for you. So um, just really grateful for that. I see our cashews arrived. 
What's up? I, I think someone just came off me on accident. Thank you so much for sharing, Mary. Um, that's a long, I'm coming up on three years now too doing this. And yeah, it, it's awesome when people notice the outside when you feel the inside. So cool. Thanks for being here. Uh, Deb, do you have any wins? How's your journey going? Um, yes, I do have wins. I've been doing this since January. And I'm down 24 pounds and people are no, yes, it's, it, I, that it came off. It came off just because of the good nutrition. And I can also attest to the fact that I just don't desire all the junk food that I used to desire. I used to eat chips and snacks and that was kind of like my diet. So this has been just wonderful for me. It's helped my skin. I've had some areas on my face that are gone now. They were really bad dark spots and everything, and they aren't there anymore. In fact, when I was at the chiropractor today, the secretary, I mentioned to her, and she said, well, I'm interested because I gave her some information. She said, I'm inter interested because, um, you know, like the skin and the weight loss, I really want to do that. So Right now, she just finished a cleanse, she said, so she wants to wait a month or so, but I'll be, I sent her, she wanted more information, so I gave her more information, but I know she's going to come in because people just look better when you have the good nutrition. I mean, it just, it just happens, and so it's, it's exciting, it's exciting. Yeah, that's super exciting, and it, it's really awesome to see just like those um, the chips and the, uh, the snacking of salty and sweet things kind of just fall off naturally when we start fixing our gut and alkalining and creating that space where the bugs aren't living and stuff. So that's awesome. Yeah. Thanks for yeah. sharing that. Congratulations. That's a significant amount of weight loss that you've been doing. So I have a little more to go, so it's going to come off though. Hmm. And it's and you're doing it in a sustainable way that will last too. So yeah. congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Hi Amy, do you want to share any any wins? Hi guys. Um I don't know. I actually I can share this one, I suppose. I just got my hair cut a few days ago. And isn't it interesting how it's coming back curly again for the first time since I was young? Like it used to be curly. And then you can see the old stuff is really thin and it's like straight, even when after I take a shower, which was a couple of hours ago. So it's really interesting to see how my body, when I started Purium, like I lost most of my hair. My, my ponytail was like this. And it's starting to grow back again. And it's actually got the protein to make it curly again. So that's that's something, I don't know, it's kind of cool. I'm excited for it not to be so short anymore and where I can actually wear it down better, but it's getting there. So I just have to be patient. <laughs> that's super exciting, Amy. That's really awesome. Yeah, when, we, when our bodies are utilizing everything correctly, our hair is just amazing. Someone actually told me yesterday when I was out that my hair looked amazing. Anyone else? Again, we hear from everyone. Does anyone have any questions? I have a question. Sure. And um, I don't know, Mary, if you had uh, responded to my Facebook messenger. So, um, Pardon me if I'm asking this question again that you've already answered, but um, I'm happy to hear from you know the host or from you or, or anyone else who knows the answer to this. I'm really wondering why when we do the uh, parasite, the cleanser portion of this, um, why it's vegetarian? Like why can't we have any like fish protein or like a really good clean source of protein? Mm -hmm. Hi, Cheryl. Yeah, sure. Um, well, clean source of protein, you are taking the cleanest source of protein. You're taking super amino 23. So you are getting 
an amazing amount of protein already in your diet. You're taking 10 a day, correct? Well, I had been taking eight a day, so but today's the first day that I did my my five, and I've got to do five tonight. So yeah, I'll be I'll be on ten. I kind of messed things up. I I I got something a little backwards, but long story, it's not important. Um, I didn't realize that that was a protein source. Yeah, yeah, that's your protein source. So oh. the reason why we say pausing on um, proteins and like animal protein per se uh, is because they're on the acidic side of the chart. So when we're doing this, we want to be creating an alkaline state mm -hmm. and meat like that takes a very long time to process in your digestive system. So um, if we're cleansing, especially if we're flushing out parasites, that's the most important time I would say to pause on, on meat because mm -hmm. you really want things flushing out. You don't want to be taking these herbs and pulling toxins out, pulling parasites out, and your gut is like just kind of stuck up digesting for four hours your meal. Mm. Um, so really super important to be like, when you're starting your parasite cleanse, that's the cleanest part of your 30 days, those 10 days, uh -huh. whenever you place that in. Um, so high fruit, like really important to be drinking lots of water and fruit to be flushing as much as possible. And so is it just fruits and vegetables or because I've seen some recipes on different um, PDFs and stuff that are available on the regenerative health um, group. And so I'm, I'm a little confused because some of them have things like, you know, quinoa or maybe not quinoa. Um, yeah, there was some kind of like, a, oh, wild rice. That was right. So it wasn't, you know, I don't know how many people know that wild rice is a, is a grass, not a green. But um, or, you know, I think I, I've seen beans even. And I'm like, beans, I don't know. They sound hard to digest to me. So can you yeah. clarify for me? Yeah, yeah. So there's different recipes because everyone's kind of like on their own, like choose your own adventure, right? You probably get a food resource guide from Mary and it's kind of like different levels of deepness. So, you know, someone could come in that is just starting from a standard American diet. They are eating McDonald's once a day. They're eating fast food. They're eating meat every day. You know, for them, taking that one step down would would be beans and they're having some stuff like that still. If mm -hmm. someone's already vegan and coming into this, they're stepping into it, you know, so just kind of find where you're at. There's no like right or wrong. It's just kind of showing you like where you want to be. How fast do you want to see things happening? I how guess I'm asking specifically when we do the 10 day parasite cleanse, mm -hmm. should I be optimally shooting for if I want to get you know the most out of it just eating fruits and vegetables or yeah. is it also including grains and legumes that's that's where I'm not clear I know there's no meat no dairy no alcohol no caffeine and and then along that same line then would um decaffeinated coffee be acceptable or or not really something if we wanted to do like if we want to get the a plus <laughs> plus want to do an A++, then it would be all fruit. <laughs> all oh. Fruit. Yeah. So, yeah, there's probably a level in your guide that says that um, that's a pretty extreme. So basically fruit, you know, fruit is going to digest really fast, have as much as you want, keep going with it. Um, the uh, fruit is going to speed up your detox. It's going to be your best friend during detox. Um, to slow things down, you would do raw foods. Raw foods are your builders. They are going to kind of slow down your detox. So if you, what, what, how long are you eating fruit till right now? Like fruit till noon or fruit till? No, I get up at like 10 o'clock. And so by the time I get my shake in, it, it's, you know, it's like noon. So um, I generally eat my, my fruit is past noon. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, I'm not just like the longer in the day you can go with fruit, your detox is continuing. When you add okay. in raw vegetables, you slow down the detox. Okay. When you eat cooked foods or beans, something like that, you're, yeah. stopping, you're stopping the detox. So and this, 
okay, this was in my in my guide that I got, but I didn't um, I didn't really put it together that I should just eat fruit. And by the time I started eating like, you know, f other food besides fruit, whether it be vegetables or it's a mixed meal, because um, right now I'm not doing my parasite cleanse. So my my dinner, which I sometimes eat in the middle of the day, is like a normal healthy meal. So like like today I had, you know, chicken and, uh, you know, vegetables that, you know, fresh, fresh vegetables and um, some rice. So um, I didn't realize that that like, I, <laughs> I guess I didn't realize for the day that that stopped my detox. I was thinking like, well, right then and there, I'm not detoxing. But then tonight when I go eat my fruit, I'm detoxing. So what now I'm getting a point of clarity where I should just be eating fruit and then figure out that when I go and eat my other meal, I, I'm stopping my detox for the day. Is that is that pretty much correct? It's going to halt and then you're going to be digesting and then... I mean, you can, it'll start again, but yeah, you kind of want to kind of like the longer that I wait. Okay. And, and look at the I, order of your eating, right? So it's fruit first, then raw, then cooked. Like that's the okay. kind of general order of detoxification. And okay. when, let, me, let me see if I can pull this up. Um, um and then you really want to be focused on food combining so i um so let me share this are you looking at my screen by right i am so um because when I heard you say the rice and the chicken, protein and starch shouldn't really be mixed together too. So fruits are alone, melons are digest even faster than all the rest of the fruit. So melons mm -hmm. digest with the pectin in your saliva. So melons, you eat melons alone. Melons are amazing for detox, but um, fruits and berries, fruits alone, and then vegetables, um so here's the so if so no proteins and starches no proteins and fruits proteins and vegetables are okay um does this help it does and i'm i i just screenshot at the um the chart so oh. i'll have it to reference yeah. um you probably gave you yeah. in your food resource guide there's a chart in there too I'll take a peek. I don't remember this specific one, and I know I I know there's this something in there. This I know there's something in there because I remember I was supposed to eat fruit by itself, which I've been doing. But um, yeah, okay. if you want to see faster results, that's what I would say is just to make sure you're drinking lots of water, starting your day with lemon juice, fruit, whatever time that is, you get up, and then when you're hungry, have that first shake and start with fruit, and go with fruit till as long as you can, and then if Okay. In a raw salad, raw do something like that, and have your second shake. And if you're still hungry, um, but those aminos are very powerful. Uh, one tablet is equivalent to like five to ten grams of protein. So you're getting wow. You really have all the protein you need. You don't. It is very rare that someone is lacking in protein. And this okay. purest, purest plant based protein that you can get it's 99 percent bioavailable and it, it, it's absorbed in 23 minutes so they're amazing um i heard you say you're taking 10 which you should be you can even space those out a little bit if you want to take five in the morning or if you want to take like three and three and three or something or three three and four or something like that um but they'll give you energy they're burning fat they're helping your elasticity of your skin they're amazing wonderful thank you Anyone else come with some questions? Hi, Tonya. 
Dibony wins. I think he jumped on late. Or a question? I have a question, Amy. I'm yep. curious your thoughts. So for vitamins A and D, I've heard a lot of things about them needing fat to absorb correctly. Were you taught at all about that in particular with regard to the zinc aid? And is the body still able to utilize it even though it's not, you know, is it better to take zinc aid with fat if you were gonna be eating a more fatty meal? I was just curious if you mm -hmm. had any knowledge of that. I don't, but my instinct would be to say that you're, that might be like applicable if you were doing like a isolate, but mm -hmm. getting it from whole food store, what zinc is, that it's a non-issue. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's less right. extreme. Right, yeah. Cool. Good question, good question. Anyone else? Will they hear me at all? Sorry? Ah, uh, shoot. Are you able to hear me at all? Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know. I might have a bad connection. Um, I have a client who who has fibromyalgia pretty bad and a couple other things um, in issues. She's currently scheduled for a gastrointestinal uh, bypass surgery in June, but she's also doing the ULT. Um, she finished 30 days, um, and it's still my understanding that she's going to do another 30. I've tried to touch base with her, so I don't really know how the program's going, going for her. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to make a contact with her. She's also doing the zinc aid. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I'm hoping to forward this uh, recording to her so she can kind of hear, but depending upon how her results are going, like how could she optimize her results um, and, and get the best response so that maybe she could cancel that surgery in June? You know, I, I, like I said, I don't really know how it's going for her now. I was just hoping that if I could get some kind of a response here, I could send it to her. Mm -hmm what what is the why is she having that procedure just for weight or what is it you know it um it, it's <laughs> i i hate to say it's western medicine and they sometimes just shoot in the dark um but it's western medicine and i think they're shooting in the dark um, <laughs> um they told her that even after they do this surgery she would her symptoms would still she'd still have like 50 or 60 percent of her symptoms but it would be better um it doesn't make any sense to me either because after she has this surgery she's going to have an extremely limited diet and she's going to have to be careful afterwards so if she could just be careful now and clear stuff up she wouldn't have to do that later because i know there's a whole bunch of other health issues that come after you would do a surgery like that as well yeah. so yeah again i think it's a western medicine shot in the dark um, uh, my heart breaks for her. So I think, you know, my story personally, right? I have, I had fibromyalgia for a decade. Yeah. Uh, that's what I was diagnosed with. So, um, and all that really is, is backed up lymphatic system. Um, I am very glad that I did not, um, that I, that I became an advocate for myself and really took the reins of my own health before anything like that happened because I was threatened with surgeries, very weird surgeries that would have, looking back, like <laughs> nothing would have been solved. Um, and anytime someone wants to cut you, like that's so much trauma that's going to be impacted on your body, the healing, the everything. That's just so rough, especially with someone that had fibromyalgia, like the sensitivities, the healing. I mean, she's only been on this a month. Like, did you kind of prep her when she started this to at least give it 90 days? Maybe she'd be open to like 
giving this a full shot and um yeah i did um we did initially tell them that that's what was recommended was 90 days so i'm not sure if she just had the surgery on the calendar because it's hard to get in um or if it was made after she started the program i'm not really sure mm -hmm. uh, uh and like like i said it's it's been tough to get a hold of her she's pretty busy um yeah. so was it it's guys gastric bypass is that what you said yeah yep yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i mean i would not recommend that at all <laughs> at all I mean, I'm not her doctor and I can't really give her medical advice, but as a practitioner from what I know and from my experience of what knowing what my body feels like from that, I would not suggest that at all. Um, I would suggest that she gets with one of the practitioners and works with one of us on a one on one basis and. Um, you know, <laughs> she can do this naturally without having any kind of things like that happening. I don't know what else to say. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, if she does go through it, she's got the right tools. I mean, the aminos are pre-digested and the shake is all the nutrients she needs. Um, so she could stay on this protocol after the bypass surgery if she decided to still go with it. Absolutely. Absolutely. She might have to blend the aminos, but I mean, this is the best thing she could have for anyone that's recovering from a surgery or injury, alkaline and the zinc aid, I mean, keeping the immunity because she's going to ruin her gut microbiome. <laughs> like, mm, yeah, but I would say a hard no. <laughs> Lori, you have a question? Hi, can you hear me? Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. So, um, kind of on the same lines, I'm glad that, that we ended up talking about gastro uh, bypass because I have somebody who wants to be a potential client or, you know, like do, do the perium long term. Mm -hmm. And so that answered um, quite a few questions for her. Uh, she couldn't jump on with us. She's in a meeting. Um, but this is, I can send her the recording, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Not, okay. That was, that was not the question, but my question is, okay, so I'm a cancer survivor and I was wondering what type of recommendations do you have? Um, now I'm seven years, six and seven years out. It took two years um, of my life going through uh chemotherapy and radiation and I didn't want to do that but I didn't find Perium <laughs> so um, what do you have I, I am just blown away by Perium because there are so many toxins and so many things that have left my body already mm -hmm. um, what what I'm just about at 90 days. So what do you recommend from here? Because I know that I want to do another cleanse because I can tell that there's still st stuff there. Absolutely. Um, you know, 90 days is just like a starting off point, right? Yeah. We'll just keep going. <laughs> okay, um, great. Keep going. There's people that live on a ULT, like, like me, like I, I pretty me much too. two shakes a day, and that's just what works for me. It's easy, yep. fast. Well, yeah, ever ever since um, I've had treatment then for cancer, I can't eat anything. But Purium, the closest that I can get to Purium, if anybody's heard of Orgain, O R G A I N, that is the closest that I've gotten and the nutrients in this perium is just amazing. I, and I, all of my research, so I was doing everything that I found, found you guys, Teutonia and, and Brandon. And I was just like ecstatic because I'm like, Oh, they're putting the things together that I need. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, this is the purest food and it's so nutrient dense. And we have the 
top 1% nutrient dense food with Purium um, in the world. So there's nothing better than this. Um, Amazing. Just to keep going, keep rebuilding. Who's your mm-hmm. owner? Who's your uh, sponsor? Um, Tony and Brandon. Mm-hmm. Or what do you mean by sponsor? Yeah, who's above you, Tony? Is there a practitioner above you? Oh, that would be Camille, Camille. and yeah. I know is Rebecca. Rebecca, a practitioner. Or Camille is. Is not. not. Okay. I'll be able to give you a couple other things too. Um, oh yeah, she's been great. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, there are some things that we use outside of Purium that I, that's coming to mind, but I don't. Okay. Take this, okay. Take this Purium right now. I'm open. I'm open to that because, um, like my shoulder, the nerves. I mean, I could tell you guys stories, but that's not for tonight. Um, the nerves in my shoulder. I'm just so amazed. I can feel my shoulder again. Seven yeah. years. Seven years of numbness. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's really, really cool. Lori, can I ask you what you did to get rid of the numbness? Because I have a problem with, um, oh my gosh, I forget what it's called. But anyway, from my knees down to my toes, it's like pins oh. and needles. Oh. And they, they gave me, uh, oh, neuropathy, that's the word, but I don't yep. know what kind of neuropathy it is. And, um, you know, as far as I know, it could even be just a pinched nerve in my back. I don't know. Right. But I was given by the neurologist um, pre-gabapentin. And oh. I tell you, it makes me feel like I that just is, like smoked a joint. disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's horrible. I know. I, it makes my back hurt. It makes my neck hurt. I feel like I've got a head high. It, like, it, it, it's terrible. It, it almost acts like it um tries to numb the rest of your nerves that are that are working that are healthy I, I don't, uh-huh. I don't, yeah i don't like that stuff um i to come off. always do massage because um in that area you're going to have um your fluid retention also um and uh, so you definitely want to be massaging your area your lower back um, cause I'm assuming some of it's going to be connected to your hip area. Um, if it's going from your knee down, um, and you uh-huh. always want to massage up your leg towards your uh-huh. hip. Oh, okay. Yep. Always up, work your way up from your toes up to your hip. And why um, is, is that, that sounds counterintuitive to me. So I'm curious. Uh-huh. Why. Cause, cause that's that's your lymphatic system taking and your endocrine system taking everything back up to the heart to get cleaned out. Oh, okay. That your makes adrenal sense. system. Yep. And so I just, um, um, very avid person of, um, uh, the protein that is in Purium is okay. absolutely the top for me. And I, went all the way down to just fish pretty much every once mm-hmm. in a while i get a craving for chicken so i do chicken um but i can't have very much of it i can't i'm i grew up in a farm um i gave up my dairy products for now <laughs> i mm-hmm. love dairy um and uh just went with the fruit um i know grapes definitely um all kinds of grapes definitely help um, I've found that out. Um, uh, I can eat cantaloupe again, uh, muskmelon type things, which I wasn't able to after with my chemo. So that I think has contributed a little bit to the nerves coming back so rapidly, as well as the uh, sticking with the, the 10 a day for sure amino okay. acids. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's really eye-opening thank you yep and that was my nerves came back one day um it was just like a a a boom and like like a pop or like a just a surge and I was like oh my gosh it didn't hurt this time oh my gosh I can feel my shoulder (laughs) wow Wow. yeah yeah Yeah. so I would I would really um stick really strong if you really want them to come back and Uh it's helping my hip it, not only that, my hip has gone out on me 
um, for 21 years and um, it is helping heal that area also it's that is almost all gone um, and the nerves are almost um, completely um, better there too wow so, that's yep. amazing I know that's I'm amazing. just blown away that's really well, thank you I'm gonna stop the recording one sec. Uh...